What's up, YouTube? Nice jams here again. <sighs> Just taking a little spin. Clear my head. As you already know, nothing does that like riding on two wheels. Cold or not, had to be done. There's gonna be some black ice out, so I gotta be careful. Like right there, major black ice. In there. Just gotta be careful. A cool uh a rather rather pretty ride today i'm gonna uh take some back roads and probably get some good sunset action and all that jazz gotta take it easy because there's definitely gonna be black ice out it's already almost caused me to wipe out once this week not gonna let it take me today so i'm gonna take it easy not gonna get up on the good foot like I normally do. Just had to get the bike out, warm it up. I haven't even put it on the tender yet this winter. I've been riding at least once a week, so. I figured it's sunny. It's only 33 degrees, but at least it's sunny for now. Get about a half hour in on the bike, maybe, maybe an hour if I'm lucky. And then it's going to be dark and way too cold to do anything. There's a good chance my hands are going to really freeze up before then anyway, so. It is what it is. Can't wait for the summertime. Go riding. I haven't gone skiing or snowboarding once this winter. Total waste of a winter. If I'm not skiing or snowboarding, I don't want winter. So, yeah. I mean, I do like burning the fireplace. Oh, shit. Just a big old strip of black ice all through here. Basically, if it looks wet, it's frozen. And it sucks. Gotta be really careful. Especially through this turn down here. <clears throat> it's it cold in this little valley area down here. I mean, even in the summer, it's a noticeably 10 degrees cooler, at least, usually in this area, or at least it feels like it. This summer I'm going to take some trips, I'm going to do Skyline Drive, I'm going to hit Tail of the Dragon, try to get video of all that. Um, Tail of the Dragon is only 11 miles, a lot of turns, but 11 miles, probably looking at about a, through that, 15-20 minute video, um, maybe a little longer, I, you know, I've never ridden it, so I'm not going to be trying to haul ass or anything, um, I'm going to take my time, enjoy the scenery. Probably pull over at a few of the overlooks. I think that there's a few. Um, yeah, just really going to take my time and enjoy the ride. Um, you see all these videos about idiots on sport bikes and shit, even Harleys. Just trying to haul ass and losing it in the turns. It's definitely not going to be me. If I dump this bike, man, I'd be so upset. I love this thing. I don't want to scratch it. If a bird pooped on it, I'd be so upset. So I can't even imagine how I'd be feeling if I dropped it. Taint gonna be no good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and this is a whole shit ton of ice. <laughs> hey, little, little slippery. Looks like dry road here. I'm thinking I should have put on a warmer pair of socks. Usually when I ride in the cold, I put on my ski socks. And they're like the shit. They come all the way up my calves. They have some kind of like a way that they hug your foot. Doesn't cut off the circulation. It's generally, you know, much warmer than my bullshit ass normal socks. If I should stop at the Irish pub and try to warm up with a a beer or something or just suck it up, take the ride. I'm thinking about sucking it up, take the ride because I don't have much sun left. And I'd like for you guys to see some of the this cool road that I'm trying to get to. Nice little curvy road through the back. I know there's going to be tons of ice on it though, so I'm a little apprehensive, but... Probably going to do it anyway. But my hands are starting to really get cold, so... I might have to take that pit stop. Like, might have to. It's physical necessity. Brown chicka chicka brown cam. Animal born. Brown chicken, chicken, brown cow. Charleston Court. I love Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but that's like my favorite southern city, probably. I, I mean, I grew up in Roanoke, Virginia. I mean, not huge. A couple hundred thousand people at most. Um, but Charleston, like I know so many people from Roanoke that live down there, and uh, they all love it. I've never heard anybody say a bad thing about Charleston, South Carolina. Never. Um, other than the fucking psychopath douchebag that went up and shot a church full of, of black people. I mean, that, that was really fucked up. That's the literally the only thing I've ever heard bad about Charleston, South Carolina. Um, hell, if I thought I could talk my ex into moving my son down there too. I, I'd move my whole family down there. But, um, hell, maybe I'll win the lottery. We can buy a damn beach house down there. Put that shit on Airbnb. Not likely, but, uh, hey, a guy can dream. Super fog. I might just have to take the road, hit the pub on the way back. I was going to go a different way back, but here's the Irish pub. Really like the Killarney house. But I want to get this dip on this back road. I haven't done it in a while. Like I said, I am a little apprehensive because the black ice is going to go slow. And you guys are probably as blind as me right now riding under the sun. I can't see shit. Put my sun shield down. It's a little better. I feel like I need some of those HD tactical glasses. You seen that bullshit on TV where they like, look at the blank screen. You don't see a fucking thing. Now put our glasses on. There's an eagle and a damn flag. You know, that would be cool. The Bell and Howl shit. And my dumbass got that tack light and it works pretty good. I use it when I work on the car or doing stuff at night. 
Um, you need like direct light camping, great for camping. Um, so I'm guessing their glasses are probably halfway decent. I can't see shit, can you? Can't see the light. Can't see a motherfucking thing with that sun in my eyes. I do see the red light, but that's about it. Let's see if we can raise this visor up for a second. 86 to sun. Off the fog. In my lenses. We're gonna take a yielding left turn. Ah, shit. Tons of salt. I just got the bike detailed, too. God, I'm stupid. Really hate salt. I mean, I get it, but damn. It just fucks my whole shit up. the thumb on the engine block and get a little heat on the mud and get a little heat on the mud Woo! It's cold Tiny house on some wheels Hey, they got a blazer for sale up the mud and a little shack Kind of reminds me of uh, this movie I saw Better off dead, I think, or something when they had the some radio show. I don't know, I don't remember, but funny. You know, doing 80 miles an hour when it's 30, not the best idea for the warmth of your hands. Um, I mean, I'm rolling with it, literally. But I just want to get up here and get back around that road before the sun goes down, or it's going to be real fucking cold. I just felt the need to take a spin. I have got to get the heated gloves. I, I mean, clearly... I don't have enough intelligence not to ride in the winter, so I gotta buy the gloves, you know what I'm saying? Gots to do it. I think they're only like a hundred bucks. I, I don't really know if they, I guess they're battery powered on the wrist. I saw a bunch that were like, you had to buy this bullshit ass jacket liner too. I don't even want all that shit. Literally just want the gloves. I can layer up, you know, I'm good everywhere else. It's those digits, man. I have a hard time pulling that clutch pedal, rolling that throttle up. Your fingers are fucking frozen. Well, you can still roll the throttle, but the clutch and the brake uh, levers are a little tougher to deal with with the numb hand. The bike's starting to warm up. Ah, oh, shit. It looks like we got a calf or some big ass dog or some shit out in the road. Flash these guys. Hopefully they slow down because that chick is about to get mauled by that car. If not, yeah, they're slowing down. That's a big ass dog, too. That was like one of those extra large fucking poodle looking dogs, I think. Definitely was tall. Yeah, it was definitely tall. Yeah, this is where we do like they have like a little Halloween joint down here. Check out this thing. Hey, Bale Spider. <laughs> oh, ice. Don't slide on me, girl. Don't slide on me, girl. All right. We go straight down this road. We're going to bust it right up. Yeah. Right by an auto auction site, too. If you guys are in Maryland and uh, you're looking for cheap cars, sometimes they have motorcycles. That's saw them in there with a, I think it was a, 09 Street Glide repo type of deal. Um, 
they only wanted like four grand for it. I mean, the blue book on it was like eight. It was, uh, it was like nothing wrong with it. It sold in like eight minutes when I was on the lot. I, I don't know why they were asking so little. I guess because they're car guys, they just don't know what they had, but this dude got a steal. I thought I'd check them out every once in a while, see if they got anything just super stupid cheap that I could check out. Um, I haven't found anything yet. I mean, that bike was the sickest thing I saw. They had a few pretty badass SUVs back there for cheap, but I'm good on the cars. Next vehicle I buy for myself, anyway, we gotta get gotta get my girl a new car. Uh, but uh, next vehicle I buy for myself, I am going to find a 17 Dyna Lowrider S. I, I, I don't know where, I don't know how, I don't know when. But at some point I'm finding that mug. And I'm going to own it. Along with my soft tail. And eventually I wouldn't mind getting a street glide too. I mean, I'm a freaking Harley addict at this point. Um, as soon as it warms up, I'm going to be doing major test rides on the new Milwaukee 8 stuff. Um, it's just a little cold. Not like them boys down in Florida can test ride shit in December, you know. I was like, can't do that up here. I mean, I could, I guess, but it would not be enjoyable. Alright. Coming up on my turn. This back road should look pretty sweet as long as we're still recording. God only knows if we are or not. I can't tell. I keep trying to look in the mirror and see if I see the numbers counting. Um, and I don't have a strap to mount the damn remote on my handlebars yet. I broke down and bought that stupid ass $75, $79 remote. Um, can't really tell if it's... Um, gonna do anything good for me just because uh, I don't have a way to strap to the bike. I believe that video is still counting. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll be pissed if this ride doesn't record though. Some sunsets over some farmland. Dipping down through the culvert. God willing we don't get stuck behind, behind this damn Verizon douchebag. I'm sure it is Verizon. Probably got a GPS on his truck, can't speed. Yeah, no offense to him, but uh, dude's just in my way. Probably a good thing though. So it keep me going a little slower than I normally would on this road. Um, it's like the what I call the long loop from my house. You know, I just dip out, take this. Brings me pretty much right back to my street, and uh, it's a nice it's a nice ride. Um, it's quiet, um, nice property, a couple horse farms, regular farms, um, all around cool stuff. Yeah, I'm still a little worried about the salt and the black ice. I mean, the salt dust is killing me. I haven't hit a puddle with it yet, thank God, I hope. I'm still going to have to spray the bike down tonight, probably if my hose is not frozen actually i cut the hose bib off so yeah it's gonna be buckets of water from the sink mm -hmm. jesus i'm in third gear creeping i'm gonna switch to second i mean this is this dude is going slower than oh thank god he's taking the turn for the worse and i'm getting out verizon no, he just let me go by like a gentleman. He's probably like, man, I wish I was out on my bike, except for I'm not as dumb as that guy. Uh, to be out here in the freezing cold! But he knew I wanted to go, so he pulled over. Much respect to him. I take back the shit I was talking about, the Verizon driver. Because once that sun dips behind that hill over there, this temp's going to drop about 15 degrees. We're going to be back down into the teens. Um quick I just need to get this whip around here and back to the crib damn it's 
it's really cold. I probably should have put a damn hand warmer. I got a couple at the house. I don't know why I didn't do that. I should have put them in my gloves. In my liner. out In between my liner glove and my outside riding glove. Um, probably would have helped tremendously. Instead of just trying to put my hand on the engine for, you know, 15, 20, 30 seconds at a time. Luckily, it's a hill right here, so I should be able to clutch roll for a bit until somebody comes up behind me and get my hand a little warm. As we dip down into the valley and the sun goes behind the hill, the balls become freezing. <laughs> as soon as I get my shitty ass laptop replaced, I got like the world's, I'm like on a 10 year old Mac. I've been limping it along and putting off buying a computer forever. Uh, but now that I'm starting to record all these videos, I need a new laptop so I can edit. Basically uploading and editing any editing that I have done, which is slim to none honestly um, but it's all happening through my iPad currently which really is a pain in the ass I mean, it's, it's definitely not the way to be uploading all these videos so I just got a lot of other shit going on right now and I can't replace my laptop currently at the moment but it is coming um, just need to um, Make it happen. Clutch roll with the light little brake. Little bit of little, little bit of Woo, it's cold. Ah oh, shit. Water. Ice. Splash. White dot salt. No bueno. I do like this road a lot though. In the summer it's real fun to ride as you can kind of rip through here. I mean not super hard but um, when you know it's dry you can definitely have a little bit more fun. Starting to lose the sun. The sun has reached the end of its shift. Time to clock out. Very soon. Mmm, wood burning stoves smell good. Now's where we get into the dippy dips. And maybe possibly one big ass puddle of water. I really hope this road's not closed in the flood area. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go all the way back and that's gonna be freaking freezing, Mr. Bigglesworth. Somebody's cooking up something good. Good smell of food with the wood burning smell. Just nice. Especially when you're back in the middle of the woods and shit. Some swamp action over there. Little Marlin swamp. I didn't go catch any gators, but there's certainly some snakes and shit in there. Well, not right now, but the summertime. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, it's so cold. And yeah, that's major black ice.
hey, there's Gilligan. behind me is an Audi. It looks like I'm having a hard time seeing that far back. You're going to have to just wait because I am not balling. Yeah, that was a little ice. Clutch roll with the hand on the heat on the engine block. Don't melt my gloves. Go back up, dude, or I'll slow to a fucking crawl. This douchebag is like riding my ass. So I'm gonna start doing the exact speed limit. Piss him off. It's another, it's like another tiny house thing. People are all about those tiny houses. Here goes Douche Bigelow turning the same way I am. And a V-dub. Thought it was an Audi, but close enough. Time to get back to the crib. It's a little bit chilly here. Chilly, chilly, cocoa pop, chilly, chilly rock. Yeah. Might have to turn my phone off, hit the bar, grab a drink, one one for the cold. Actually, fuck it. I'm going to just tough it out, carry my bitch ass home, and put my hands in the heater. Heater. the other one I was thinking about. Oh, Hollis. Trying to remember what church was over there. I couldn't remember the name of it.
You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take a left. Take a quick way back. It's faster. My hands will be colder. But. Beautiful sunset over there. Yeah, my toes are definitely, definitely getting chilly. I'm really glad I came back this route because going the other way that will put me out after dark for sure and that would have been cold these cops behind me must think I'm a total lunatic trying to uh, ride in the winter like this. Tennessee Farm. Good name. Nice Irish flag. And there's the strawberry farm. Oh, we're coming up on the street. in the hood just in time I got a piss but honestly it's helped keeping me warm so the 
let's get her back, put her in the garage. I got my fix in for the day, about a half hour like I thought. Let's see how many miles we did. Yeah, 22 miles. Doesn't feel like 22 miles, but I guess it was. 22.2 to be exact. Get a brother home, skipping the black ice, put in the garage, heat up my toes and hang. Oh my god, it's so cold. All I can do is say stupid shit to try to keep warm. Woo! Rev bomb. Until I get an exhaust. Red bomb and it really honestly doesn't even do shit on this mug. It's, it sounds good, but it's so quiet. Get me home, girl. Get me home fast. Woo! Oh, let me get over this black ice before I start trying to cut cameras off and shit. Later.